So today I'll be showing you how to do the uh, police car. First off, I made a folder and I have some meta files that I'll be linking in the, the Solemn's Discord in the resources tab. Resources tab. These are for the resource uh, later on, but let's just ignore that for now. First off, we're going to get the car. Uh, exemplar. So, I'm just going to pick these with the X64E. Highlight the normal one and the underscore high. Go to the folder and make a folder called the car name. And then in that folder, we're going to make another folder with the same name as the car. Then export this to YFT. Open up the YFT and go to this tab, materials, save all textures. And save all the textures into the, the uh, texture dictionary right here. Open the YTD as well and save all of these textures. Same for the plus high. Not many cars have that, but if they do, just save them. Then we're going to get the police car. I'll be doing police 3. And exemplar police 3. Police 3. Export those. Save all the textures. So, now we're going to go into Blender and import everything. So, we're going to go ahead and import the exemplar and import the police car. Also, when importing, make sure you have underscore uh, import with underscore high enabled. Okay, then we're going to hide the normal car and hide the collisions and shadow maps. I'm missing some textures right here. I have uh, all the textures of the vehicle interiors, but we really don't need that for this. So first off, I'm gonna need, be doing the uh, what's it called, the siren bar. So we're gonna go ahead and expand this out. What I like to do is you have the siren glasses and the sirens. We're gonna select everything right here and. As you can see, it's selecting some stuff we don't want. So, as you can see, there's those sirens back here. Hold control and just deselect them. Then just drag up, make sure you're not moving anything. Also, watch out when you're uh, deselecting and you're not deselecting the middle, or else it'll deselect everything. Then you want to shift click the MISC right here, MISC A. You want to drag up, hold shift, and unparent. After the unparenting, we're going to get the bones. So, um, if we look at the name right here, it's going to be MISC A, and most likely when we go select the skeleton and go into edit mode, go to the chassis, and if you scroll down a bit, as you can see, MISC A has everything parented with the um, siren glass and the sirens, so you want to select everything, right click in the viewport, and separate bones, and then it's going to ask you to confirm, but just press it again, then you should have police 3 all one now we can go back to object mode and hide the police 3 model select everything plus the armature and now we can expand ex exemplar and i recommend only unhiding the mesh so you don't have all the armature bones to look at so now we have the car and i'm just going to go into front view right here because we need to do a bit of scaling i'm going to scale it down a bit so and I'll maybe move it a bit back so it's kind of at the door side move it a bit down so the check if it's not going through the mesh and it's kind of sticking through there so let's lift this up maybe scale it down a tad more Like so that that will, that will be fine honestly so now that we have that done we can go ahead and select all the meshes 
hold shift and parent to the exemplar mesh. If misc A is becoming 001 or something, uh, you have to rename it to a different misc. So you can do misc X, uh, misc G, misc H. But I'm, I can just keep a misc A in this case because this one has no miscs as far as I can see. Then for the armature, we want to make sure you have the exemplar unhidden. So the main armature is um, actually selectable. So you can see the bones. Sh click the police 301. Hold control and click the exemplar. And press control J while hovering over in the viewport. Now if you expand this, you'll see the MISC A right here. Go into edit mode on the MISC A. And then you want to expand this out a bit. Scroll down to the bone tab. Go to relations. And make the parent chassis. So now it's parented to the chassis. So that's, that's done. We have to get the collisions now. So if I unhide the collision real quick. As you can see, the uh, I remember from Silent Glass and then Misc A, we can get those. We want to make sure Cole is, you can see that. Select the Silent Glass and the Misc A. I don't know why this one has... Let me just hide this stuff real quick. I do not know why it has two Miscs. It's fine, I guess. Okay, I'll just do the siren glasses and the two misks. And parent them, uh, hold shift and parent them to the call. We can go ahead and hide the police three now. As you can see, the glass is in the right spot, but the main calls are not for some reason. So we can just go ahead and move this a bit. To scale a bit. Honestly, it doesn't really have to be perfect. That'll be fine, to be honest. Then, I'm gonna check real quick. Okay, the constraints are set up right, so we don't have to do anything with that. But in some cases, when you parent the collision to the new collision, and the other car, it'll be uh, automatically right with the glass and the coal and stuff, but this part, this case, we have to do... Um, move the collision a bit so now we're gonna do the other parts so unhide the police three and we can move on to the ram bar so in this case the ram bar is parent to most most of the um, most of the car so what we can do is i'm just gonna go in vertex mode and i'm gonna press m and merge by distance alt n reset vectors we wanna go to the geometry data tab and clear custom split normal data. So now if we select the mesh or select the, the face and then press control L, it'll select more of it. So we can just do that, control L, control L. As you can see, everything is unparented. We want to separate that from the chassis and hold shift and drag it out of the police tree. We're going to hide that. Same for the uh, little light bars. I don't know if I, okay, yeah, I did. We just control L these as well. Separate selection. And we can move them here. Like so. Be honest, I'm just gonna join these together. So now we have these irons. I'm just gonna select them manually, like so. And then iron parent them of course. And then we can go ahead and go into the chassis again in edit mode. And these ones are probably just uh, loose sirens. Yeah, like that. So I'm just going to select them because I can see them easily. So right click, separate, and then confirm. And in this case, as you can see, the body shell, this type of stuff is uh, not a misc. I'm not really going to bother making it a misc, I'm just going to parent it to the body shell, but you could of course, um, for example, duplicate the misc A mesh or something and just do that, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to parent it to the body mesh, to the body shell. So then, same thing, we unhide the mesh, we set everything, 
so the armature and etc and then we move it to the car not really going to be perfect but it works I guess then we select everything so the shell and the siren and we're going to select the 002 and the normal body shell press ctrl j this will merge everything okay for some reason these are kind of messed up just gonna select everything in x-ray mode I don't know the shading is kind of off just gonna merge these I think I shall have to do is clear customs but normal data that's fine so well we have that same for the other part we're gonna select the 001 select the exemplar control J and then we're gonna get these chassis stuffs I don't know why so what I'm gonna do is select these and select the exemplar dot scale control P and keep offset actually no never mind I think if I just I'm gonna clear this parent I don't know why it has some weird ass chassis parents probably because he I don't know what the fuck I did so these ones I'm gonna delete this one then set it's to chassis Oh, okay, I fucked up because I removed the chassis skeleton in the police three. That's fine, honestly. I don't really care. So, then we're gonna do the last part. I think it's uh, rear lights. And again, we're working with some bullshit ass things, so it's gonna be fucking unparented. It's gonna be imparented to the body, to the chassis again. Like, bruh. Uh, I'll do the same thing. Merge by distance, reset vectors, clear because of normal data, and then we're gonna real quickly gonna just separate these, then hold shift and drag them out, hide them real quick. I'm just gonna manually click these these irons. Then for these ones as well, unparent them. Same thing for the bones, I'm just going to manually select them because they're not parented to any uh, parent. So they don't only really have like a base as parent, they're just parent to the chassis. So separate these bones and hide this. Unhide that thing and then unhide the exemplar mesh. So in our case, it's gonna split far away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this one a separate part, and in here I'm gonna check these are that, and siren seven and siren eight are from this side. So I'm gonna go in here into edit mode, and I'm gonna separate the siren seven and siren eight. I'm gonna hide these other ones so they're not distracting us. And hide that one. Select everything. Then we just move it manually. Moving a bit to the back of the car. Should do it like that because it's kind of it's, a, it's an example, so I don't really care that much about how it's positions and stuff. So now for the other part, the other chassis. Select these, move them, move a bit to the back of the car so you can actually see them. So you can see they're just floating, but I don't really care right now. 
Now with these ones, we're gonna control click them and control J so they're parented back together. And same for the chassis parts. These ones, we're gonna join them back together. Oh, what's not using control J? Okay, I already did. Okay, I'm blind. So now we just get the meshes, parent them. Same for the skeleton. Can hold that, control click the exemplar, control J. Then with these irons, we can also just shift click all of them control click the control click the chassis control p and keep offset that'll parent it a bit quicker like so then i have to parent this to the chassis like so it's a clear custom set of data like that and then I think that'll be all. Of course, we can um, take out these parts in the middle and stuff. I don't really care about that. So, what we're going to be doing now is unhiding this. And we're going to, for these vanilla cars, I can just add P in front of them. So, P exemplar, uh, indicating police exemplar. So, now we can just go ahead and we're going to do one thing before export. We're going to select every mesh, go to Jobbles, Shader Tools, and set all materials embedded. And then we can go ahead and export. So we're going to go in the folder right here that we have. We're going to create a new folder called Export, and a new folder called Files. Export this. It's going to take a while because it has to com uh, compile all the textures. So if you go into this right here, exemplar, we have these two folders. We can go ahead and delete the underscore high and you can go back into Blender, select everything again and set all materials unembedded. So now we can just export again. No errors, okay. We'll be, doing, we'll be using this for the um, texture dictionary. So now in here, we're going to open a folder and exemplar. Open the files and then drag in the YFT files. And now we can use folder to YTD to make a YTD. You can just go in here and go to this, export, select that folder and make it a YTD. Or you can use OpenIV, which I, which is what I usually use. So I'm gonna open that real quick, and we're going to open the folder, exemplar, files, make a new texture dictionary, and make it the same name, P, exemplar. I think that matches. Let me just double check. Yeah. Open the ITD. Just drag everything in, and then save. As you can see in here, everything should work fine. Or actually, forgot one part. Because we merged everything, they're not included in the other LODs. So what we're going to do is going to go back in here. And for this part, I'm just going to select everything. Then Shift D, duplicate. Then separate it. And we're gonna go ahead and go into body shell. And in the geometry data, we're gonna scroll down, go into high. Then with this part enabled, we can just go in here and press Ctrl J. And we can do the same thing. Separate that. I mean you have to duplicate it first of course. Separate. In here, medium. Ctrl J. And you get the idea. I'm not gonna do it for the back lights because who cares? So now we can export again. Yeah, it doesn't there. I'm not sure if you update right here. As you can see, it's updated. It's actually, it actually shows now. So 
then what we're going to do is uh, do the resource files. So right here, I have to just copy these and then make a thing called here pxmplar underscore meta base those in. Okay, so for the meta stuff, you want to find the card name, so I'm going to do exemplar. And you want to look at the DLC right here. But in our case, exemplar is a base game model. So, but I'm going to show you for Komodo, for example. You want to find the YFC. Right here, you'll see MPHS3. So with this, you'll um, find the card calls on meta. And then find MP High Street out here, then come out of, and then you'll find it. But in our case, we have to go to carcoals.ymt because this is a base game. So in this case, carcoals.ymt, it's gonna be this one. I'm gonna do that, this one. Exemplar, and we'll find this, but this car doesn't have any. What's it called? It doesn't have any uh, mods, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check real quick. For some reason, it's not showing the base game car goals. I think this one. Exemplar. Actually, that's the YMT again. Car calls, the meta. Car calls. I'm just gonna set the search to game folder only. Should be this one. Exemplar. Okay, so it has no mods. So, for car calls, I am, like I said in the beginning, we'll be putting this in the description down below. And then you have to go to the Discord in Solemns to download this. So, first off, we have no mods. So, I'm going to replace this with that. So, you want link mods. Oh, not matter at all. We're gonna scroll down, and here we don't have anything. Actually, we do. If you go back to carcals.ymt, it's like an exemplar. We have the lights right here. Such. Then the sirens are going to remove. And to be sure, I'm going to uh, really quickly gonna go in open IV and I'm gonna open the active meta files. So I'm just gonna save it. I'm just testing if it doesn't have any errors. For example, if I just remove this and go to save, it'll say you're an error. But normally with Visual Studio Code, it won't show you the error at all because it's not familiar with GTA code and GTA naming. So with this one, I'm just going to take the ID value from this. ID will be 68. Car name will be P exemplar. Market. Market. And this one will be 68. Kit type. I'm going to just get a kit type real quick from something. Color goals are meta. I'm just going to make special. It doesn't really matter at all. Like that. So we just want to just have engine uh, mods, so we can actually upgrade the uh, suspension and stuff. And one more thing, if I scroll down here into the suspension, with the modifiers, you want to make them 20, 30, 40. But in the file, I'll just update this, you won't have to do this, but this is just so the suspension works properly. For some reason, in-game, if you have it on 2, it will not go down at all, for some reason, I don't know why. Then for the car variations, we're going to copy the car name, so it's going to be P exemplar, and then P exemplar, the market's already being shown here. And then the sign settings will be both one, so one and one. So pretty, let's go to the handling now. For this, we can use the RP fix for handling on meta. Go in here, X and par. Again, for the handling, if you want to find it, just get the DLC from the car and then 
find her in here, but with me, just base game, so just copy from here to subhandling data. So you want to copy from the name to subhandling data, paste it in there, and change the name, of course, be exemplar. Moving on to vehicles.meta, vehicles.meta, here, exemplar. You want to copy from model name to the first person drive by data. Here, paste that. Then we have to do some meaning. Link. So put P in front of this, P in front of this, P and P. Don't just um, paste in, just don't do control H and then X and blur, P, X and blur, because that'll fuck up some stuff. It'll fuck up the cover set and all the layouts. With the other name hash, you wanna copy that part, paste it in there. You wanna remove this forward slash, remove this slash, and add a forward slash right here. Then you wanna make the thing, I wanna make it police 2, I think that's a model. Because police 3 has a kind of like a fucked up sound. In 5M, it sounds you have the siren, but normally, do, but in single player, you won't. So I was gonna use police 2. Then we're pretty much done. So now that we're in game, we can go ahead and do start P exemplar. Spawn the car. If I can actually type P exemplar. As you can see, everything works. Front lights, siren bar, 